Ever wonder if your state is among the highest taxed in America? It's time to find out. Here are the top five states in America with the highest tax burdens. Let's go. Starting off this list is New York State with the number one spot and a tax burden of 15.9%. Now, what is the definition of a tax burden? Well, according to Wise Voter, Basically, it is the average total amount of taxes paid by individuals and businesses in a particular jurisdiction. So this could include income tax, sales tax, property tax, and a few other state and local levies. So some of the main reasons why New York is such an expensive state uh, is because one, massive population. It's one of the largest states by population in the country. So a lot of people means a lot of things to fund. So infrastructure, education, uh, you know, your local communities and your, your, your counties, all those things require taxes. And probably the biggest thing is New York City. New York City is one of the biggest financial hubs in the world. So anything that's close to it, either a house or a county or anything, uh, is very desirable because of how close it is to that city where all the action's happening. So you have counties like Rockland and Westchester are very expensive and very desirable because they're only like an hour max away from the city. So, you know, companies that want to be there, very expensive land. People that want to live there, very expensive towns and very expensive homes because it's so desirable and so many people want to live there. So those are some of the factors of why New York is so expensive. Next up on our list with a tax burden slightly less than New York is Connecticut with a tax burden of 15.4%. Connecticut shares many of the same reasons as New York. Close proximity to New York City, very wealthy counties and towns like Greenwich and Westport. Uh, excellent schools, tons of programs, tons of infrastructure. So all of these things add up to make it a very desirable place to live. And when it's desirable, people are willing to pay a lot to live there. Uh, and there's a higher cost of living, so higher taxes. At number three is the Aloha State, also known as Hawaii, with a tax burden of 14.1. Some of the main reasons why Hawaii has such a high tax burden is partly due to its remoteness. Hawaii is an island, so there's limited land, expensive. Uh, anything not grown or built there has to be imported, expensive. Uh, natural disasters happen quite frequently, so they have to have some money set aside for these situations, expensive. And then also tourism. The tourism is a main part of the Hawaiian ec economy. So since it fluctuates with the seasons, you know, the taxes have to play a very large role in funding uh, the state's operations. Number four is Vermont, home of Ben and Jerry's with a tax burden of 13.6%. Vermont, like Hawaii, relies on its tourism section to fund its economy. Vermont is a very gorgeous place, and if you haven't gone there, I highly recommend it. So anything related to the tourism sector and infrastructure has to be a tip-top shape and of high priority. Another thing to consider is that property taxes in Vermont actually fund the educational system. In addition, Vermont has an aging population, one of the oldest in the country. So older people mean uh, more reliance on government programs and of that such. And lastly, Vermont has a high standard of living and excess taxes. So taxes on alcohol and gas and tobacco. So all of these things, uh, plus its high standard of living and high cost of living, cause Vermont to be a very expensive place to live. And number five, California, which most of you probably thought would be higher on this list, but it has a tax burden of 13.5%. Some of the reasons why California is so expensive because one, it has a massive population. A lot of people means there needs to be a lot of money going towards programs to make sure that the state is running properly. So local governments, state governments, education, infrastructure, um, maintenance. You also have to keep in mind the big cities. So Los Angeles, San Francisco, San Diego. Big cities with a lot of money and companies means very desirable pieces of land and also very desirable jobs. So a lot of people want to live there, raising the cost of living and the standard of living. In addition, California has a lot of taxes uh, for government programs. So all of these things uh, and a few other things cause uh, California to be very expensive. Note, something to keep in mind is that these numbers are from the end of 2023. They have not been updated for 2024. So there is a good chance that these numbers have changed since then. Also, these numbers are averages. So there's a fair chance that a lot of you pay more than this and some of you pay less than this. It's just how it goes. Your tax burden can change drastically depending on the state, county, city, or town that you live in, right? Your taxes can go towards education, maintenance, social programs, infrastructure, and a whole lot of other things, right? 
And if you don't agree with where your taxes are going in the area that you're currently living in, you got 49 other states to choose from. So with that, I'm Evan, and thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then click on the video here. Also, if you haven't, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos.